fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> exciting adventure with a masked rider of justice, the most picturesque and colorful character ever to ride the plains and prairies of the United States. Listen to those silver shod hoofs racing down the trails of old. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, silver old boy. That's it, old fellow. Tell us waiting for us on the trail ahead. Hello, silver. As our Lone Ranger drama opens, we find the famous masked rider and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, arriving at the town of Fargo. Two lawmen, heavily armed with rifles and pistols, bar their trail. Keep your hands high and don't make no fast moves. You aim to ask some questions. Well, what do you want? Stand back, Jim, and keep the two of them covered. Yeah, sure will. Well, then, uh, leap in sagebrush, you're masked. Maybe you're the red. Who? I say it's the red. Take your hat and mask off and let me have a look at you. Who is the red? Worst darn crook that Fargo's ever seen. There ain't no need to tell you that. Like as not, you're him. If I were, do you think I'd have stayed on the trail when I saw both of you guarding the approach to town? I don't know. There ain't no telling what Red'll do. Who is the red? If we knowed, we'd jail him. Can't even find no motives for his crimes. What is he charged with? Honorary Coyote, he started out by robbing the banker. Took $500 from him one night and left him with 5000 he didn't take. That don't make sense, does it? I don't know. But it makes as much sense as you riding down here in spite of me and Jim standing guard. Take off that hat and mask. Tell me more about the robbery of the banker. Curious, eh? It's the same as if he didn't know all about it already. Tell me. Sure, I'll tell you. The day after the red robbed Banker Sims, there was a mortgage paid off on Jones Ranch. The amount was $500. Have you questioned Jones? Oh, Jones, you can't get out of a chair. His rheumatics is so bad. He ain't no ways to blame. He didn't even know the mortgage was paid off. Him and his missus was getting ready to get out of their house because they figured Banker Sims was going to foreclose. Seems to me this man you call the Red did quite a favor for the Joneses. That don't cut no ice. The man's a thief, and as such, he's going to pay. Well, you're mistaken if you think I know anything about this thief. He ain't a redhead in the whole blame town. That means he's got to be a stranger from other parts. You're a stranger, so you... All crooks may be strangers, deputy. But that doesn't mean all strangers must be crooks. But when they come here, Mask... Even when they come, Mask... If you don't take that mask off, drill him. We can't waste time, Kurt. You hear that? If you want the mask removed, come and take it. I can do that, too. Keep him covered, Jim. I got my rifle held steady, Kurt. Go ahead. We'll see who you are right pronto, stranger. Ready, Remember? Silver. Pass him. Look out. Get clear, Tonto. Let me get this right. Get out of the way, Kurt. Sorry, Deputy. Don't shoot, Jim. You'll get me if you shoot. Be ready now. Come on, Tonto. Hey, old Silver. Let me get this. Right. There he goes. Get him, Jim. Shoot. I'll drop him. Uh, you missed. Shoot again. He's knocked my gun away. I wing the engine. Try another. They travel like lightning. Reload and fire again. Hey, no use, Kurt. They got clear. By the time I reload, they'll be out in sight in them woods. Dread it, I'll bet ten to one that masked man was a red. Let me help you, Tonto. 
Me. Me all right, human hit. You go on. I'm all right. No, I won't leave you, Kimo Sabe. Stop your horse. Oh, oh, there, Silver. This, this place not safe. Oh, boy. This place will be safe for the time being. The trees to shelter us. Get down and let me look at your wound. Tommy, me all right. You're not all right, Tonto. That wound might be worse than it seems. We're not going on until we take care of it. Me, me all right. Let me help you down. Uh, me. Uh, who, who this red fellow? I don't know, but whoever he is, I want to know him. Seems to have done a good turn for the Jones family. Uh, Saved an old man who's crippled from being put out of his home. Uh, hey, now, Tonto. Lie down on the grass here. Me. Me, all right. You're not. That's an ugly wound. Uh, Lawman, come soon. You get away. I'm going to dress that wound. Me, all right. You, you not bother. Steady, fellow. We'll build a fire and heat some water, and I'll dress that wound. Easy now, Kimosabe. Me, all right. Me, all right. Fainted. Silver, our friend is hurt more than he'd admit. We can't leave him here, and we can't take him with us. If we stay here, we'll surely be captured. That means they'll take off my mask. Yet, Tonto comes first. Our scene changes now to the home of old Lyja Longworth. Elijah is telling his wife and Dave Tuttle, a young man boarding with the elderly couple, about the character known as the Red. That's about all anyone in town is talking of. Uh, for me, lads, I'll most be sorry to see the Red get captured. Why, will you, Miss Longworth? You ain't been around the town long, Dave. If you had, you'd know they ain't a more deserving couple in the world than Mr. and Mrs. Jones. I'm right glad this red-headed man done what he did. Then you think he turned over the cash he stole from the banker to pay off their mortgage? Sure he did, Dave. That's common talk. And the best of it is that Banker Sims can't no way prove it. He has to let Jones keep his house, much as he'd like to take it away from him. I sure wish this red fellow would help us out. You? What's your trouble, Mr. Longworth? Trouble? Listen here, Dave. Ain't a day goes by that I ain't scared I'll never see another sunset. Oh, Lodge, don't bother our border with that story. He wants to hear it, don't you, Dave? Sure. It's the feud, and that's what. Feud? Me and Abe Darwin. Darwin is an ornery polecat with a dozen notches in his gun but He'd shoot as fast as I could say Jack Robinson. He wasn't sure he wouldn't be catched. Shoot you? Yeah. Someday it's going to be him or me and... Uh, well, I just ain't a killer. Abe Darwin, huh? Reckon you don't know him, David. He's at the cafe every night guzzling himself with red liquor. Mm-hmm. And gambling. He's got rich by swindling folks with my cards. I catched him at it once. He's been laying for me ever since. He shot you once, lad. Yeah, this scar on my neck is where his bullet grazed me. Shot me from behind, too. Must be ornery as they come. He sure is. That's enough of that story, Lodge. Fair makes me creep to think of what, what might happen to you someday. What's your past, Dave? You ain't had much to say about why you're here in town. I reckon I ain't much of a past. I traveled with a medicine show till it went busted. Then I was left with nothing to do, so I'm sort of waiting around here, hoping what cash I got will last me till I find some sort of a job. Mm-hmm. Looks like we got company for supper, Martha. Come in. Evening, Lloyd. Well, Kurt. Howdy, Deputy Forsyth. Just drop by. You're just in time for supper if you'll stay. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm frank to say, Martha, that I sort of hope to sample your fancy cooking. I'm in a mood for something of the sort. How's that? Done a good piece of work today. Got one of the friends of the Red captured. What? Yep. The Red? An Indian. Him and the masked man rode toward town and wouldn't answer up like what they should. When they heard about the Red, they both hightailed. The bullet fetched the engine down. We trailed him. How bad's he hurt? He'll get well. We found him in a sort of a camp in the woods. Reckon the mash part of his was getting water from a spring. We seen him through the trees, but got away with the red skin before he come back. But what makes you think the red has a partner? Why shouldn't he have? We well, ain't no proof, have you, deputy? Nope. With the red skin in the calaboose, I reckon the red will try and get him out. If he does, we'll trap him. What's this about the masked man? Trap him, too. 
Use the engine for bait, you see. Look here. Just what crimes are chalked up against this red? Uh, Thunder, we're chalking every crime that ain't been solved against him. We got reason to prove otherwise. I see. I'll get the supper on the table. Uh, Mrs. Longworth. Hmm? Uh, don't set no place for me. What's the matter, Dave? Oh, I ain't hungry. Guess I'll drift toward town and see what's going on. If you see any lawmen, tell them I'll be back to take my turn to stand in guard over the Redskins. I'll tell them. Now, oh, ma'am, if I ain't too forward, I'd like to have a... It looks like I made myself more of an outlaw than I figured on by trying to help the Joneses. Charged with everything, the law ain't solved. That means hanging when I'm caught. Well, before I clear out, I'm going to settle a feud for poor Lige Longworth. Oh, steady there, girl, steady. Me and you are going traveling as soon as I can get my red wig and other things together. Badly wounded, was held a prisoner in Fargo's jail. The office of the sheriff occupied a room in the same building. As our scene opens, it is evening, and Sheriff Barton is discussing Tonto with one of his deputies. Soon as he's able to speak, we'll question him. There ain't much chance he'll talk, though. Maybe not. But the red and matte masked man will be afraid he'll talk and tell all he knows. They'll figure on coming here to get him out. Then we'll have him. Got plenty of guards around the jail? Yep, and they'll be kept there with orders to shoot on sight. I'd like to know just who the Red is. Me too. There's been a plenty of crime around here. We'll blame the whole works on him till we get proof otherwise. He'll hang. Sure as shooting. I'll shoot. Uh, uh, Gambler Darwin's dead. Abe Darwin? That's right. Why, did Longworth get him? No, I just come from Lige's place. Darwin wasn't at the cafe tonight. I had a hunch and went to his house, and there he was, stretched on the floor. Shot? No. Reckon he was killed some other way. And we found out who the red is. Leaping Jaffe. Who? Dave Tuttle. How do you know? He was there. We caught him red-handed, wearing a wig. We chased him when he ran, and the wig come off. We seen who it was. Did you get him? Where's he now? Riding north, fast. You let him get away? We couldn't stop him. We didn't have horses handy. Get all the boys together. What about the Redskins? He can't leave here. But the masked man might come for him. Can't move him if he does. He's too bad hurt. Anyhow, take the masked man we want. It's the Red. And we'll get him if you hurry. Come on. I'm with you, Barton. You guards, never mind the jail. Get your horses and follow me. We're chasing down the Red. Thanks to the Red, I can speak to Tonto now. Tonto! Oh, you come. Tonto, the red has drawn the guards away. I'll get you out. Me, me not move. They think you're a friend of the red. If they don't get him, they'll hang you. Me, me not want red be hunted. You go. You go find red. Let me try to hold you on a horse. I have your horse with me. You put white color in pasture. Him wait for Tonto. Tonto, stay here. You, you find red. Finding him, Tonto, will prove you innocent of anything he's done. That only way. I'll get the extra gun. Just wait one second, boys. You go. The masked man. Hand clear. Hand going out. Kurt, Kurt, it's the masked man. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scene, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, the masked rider was mistaken for a mysterious character blamed for a score of crimes. Tonto was wounded and thrown in prison, charged with being the Red's accomplice. However, Dave Tuttle was revealed as the mysterious outlaw when he was discovered standing beside the dead body of Abe Darwin, the gambler. Dave made his escape, and the next morning, tired lawmen gathered in the sheriff's office after an all-night hunt. Blasted coyote. He sure wrote in just the right place to hide all tracks. We ain't a chance of finding him now. And Abe done for by him. Curious thing about that, Sheriff. Yeah? I mean, how'd the Red do it? Don't know. He ain't had time to find out. There wasn't no knife or gun used. Where'd be poison? Didn't seem so. Besides, Dave Tuttle wouldn't have poison handy. He wouldn't be able to make Abe take it if he did have it. The thing to do is to find Dave Tuttle. Good thing we got that engine here. You think he's in cahoots with him? Sure he is. Wasn't he a friend of that masked man? Yeah, he was All a All right, then. Didn't the masked man light out in the same direction as Dave Tuttle the Red? Yes, that settles it, then. I bet two bits the Redskin won't tell what he knows, though. Well, they're hard to make talk. You just can make him talk. We'll make him talk somehow. Soon as his wound is better... Sheriff. Oh, morning, Longworth. Well, I just... Good morning, boys. Look here, Sheriff. I heard what happened. Dave Tuttle's run away. Yeah, but we'll get him. Does the critter owe you board money, lad? No, that ain't what I'm here for. Me and Martha know him better than most folks in town. Well? We can't believe he's as bad as been said. He's the rat. Yeah, I know, Sheriff. But even so, I can't believe he's bad. He robbed Banker Sims. He helped poor Jones by doing it. He killed Abe Darwin. If he did... Which same I question. He the same as saved my life by doing it. You think he didn't murder the gambler? I need more than just seeing him there to prove it to me. Well, there's other things to charge against him. Lige, maybe you like the kid as Dave Tuttle. But as the Red, he's coming back to Fargo to swing. <laughs> The search for Dave Tuttle went on, but only the Lone Ranger found the trail of the outlaw. The masked man realized that nothing could free Tonto but the capture of the Red. And so, urging his great horse Silver onward, he followed the outlaw. It's hard following this trail, Silver, old boy, but we're still after the Red. If Tonto were with us, we could make much better time, but he isn't. He may never be with us again if we don't take the Red back to Fargo. The Lone Ranger followed the faint trail left by David Tuttle. Throughout the whole of the day and far into the night, he paused for a few brief hours of rest, then continued on his way with the first dim light of dawn. The trail led him through rocky hills whose sides were covered with treacherous shale. But still the masked man pressed on. Once we're down in the valley beyond this hill, Silver, we'll find it much easier. Come on, fellow. That's it. Tonto's counting on us. The masked man's trail led him toward the crest of a hill, higher than the others. He didn't know that just beyond, Dave Tuttle had prepared a trap. We see Dave with his friend Buck. It's a good thing I got the start I did, Buck. Yeah, you wouldn't have had a chance if you hadn't got to my place and told me about the fellow that sung to your trail. That's enough shoveling, don't you think so? Sure. When that powder blows, it'll start a nice rock slide that no man can escape from. I hate like thunder to do it, Buck. Well, you'd hate like thunder to swing for things you ain't done, wouldn't you? Yeah, I reckon so. All you done was to steal five hundred dollars from a coyote that didn't need it, and give it to pay off that mortgage for Jones. I swear, Buck, that's all I ever done that was again the law. And I'll bet the Lone Ranger would have done the same thing. Who? The Lone Ranger. What do you know about him? I've heard of plenty about what he's done. Never stole, did he? Well, I guess not, but. He'd have found another way to help Jones out. I couldn't find no other way, so I'd done the best I could. And then the law chalked every crime they had in town again, you. Yeah. And spotted you when you went to kill Abe Darwin. But I didn't go there for that. No? I went there to have a talk with the rat. Poor Longworth was afraid of his life. I thought if I called him the gambler that shot Lige, I'd throw such a scare into him, he wouldn't bother Lige no more. Mm-hmm. When I got to the house, Abe was there on the floor, just like I told you. Did. It didn't take but a glance to see that. And a glance was all that you had time for. Yeah. Lawman busted in on me, and I had to run for my life. Making you look as guilty as sin. I know. Well, you're into your neck now. 
You got a dozen murders charged here, as well as thieving, rustling, and a dozen other things. You may as well save your life by setting off this blast. I ain't no choice. It won't be you gets that lawman that's after you. It'll be the blast. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. It's the only way. Sure. You just light a fuse, and if he happens along when the blast goes, it's his own fault. Who is it that swallowed your trail? I don't know. Sheriff? Didn't look like him. One of the deputies? Well, I couldn't tell who it was, Buck. He was too far off. But he stuck right on the trail. I know that. Hmm. Coming close, too. I hear his horse. We, we better get going. Yeah, light the fuse and we'll travel. Buck, I, I, I can't go through with it. Why, you blame fool? I can't do it. I can't light the fuse to take a man's life. Not even to save my own. Then I'll light it for you. I ain't going to see you fall into the hands of the law. But look here, Buck. Let me try and outright it. You've been trying to do that for two days. Then I, I'll face him. No, you don't. I buried that powder and I aim to see you get rid of the man that's followed you. It don't matter to you. I'm a lightener. But wait. He's just beyond the ridge. He'll be here in a second now. There she goes. Run. No, let me put it out. It don't matter to you. Come on. Run or you get catch the blast. Catch the head and shove it down. Watch out the blast. Nearly to the top, Silver. And we'll be heading into the valley. Come on, boy. That's it, old fellow. There we are. Now it's downhill. And Silver, that looks like a man down there. Come on, Sil! A terrific blast shook the ground just ahead of Silver and the Lone Ranger. The loosened rock began to tumble down the side of the hill. Silver was carried with him, his hoofs pawing frantically in space, while the Lone Ranger freed himself from the saddle. Dave Tuttle, watching the scene from a safe distance, expected to witness the masked man's death at any moment. But when the slide had settled, he heard Buck shout, The doggone blast didn't get him right. He stopped his horse on top of the hill. There's a horse down at the foot of the hill, and Buck, the man is trapped there. See? Yeah, he's in sand and shale up to his armpits. He's trying to get out. Hey, go and finish him. I'll catch that horse as so it won't head back to Fargo. Eh, it'll do the boy. Come on, Paul. Yeah, the horse is coming to him. Gosh, Buck, look at that horse. Did you ever see one like it? Come on, Silver! Not so fast, mister. You ain't getting out of where you are, Savvy. He's masked. Mm, so he is. Are you the man I've been trailing? I am. You are the red. Who are you wearing a mask? Tuttle, I'm taking you back to Fargo. No, oh, no, you ain't. No. I'm Dave's friend, Savvy. I ain't letting you take him back. Come on, Silver. Down, boy. Oh, there. Not so fast, horse. Look out. There. 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 <laughs> How's that, Dave? The stranger figured on getting his hands on the horse and being hauled out in the sand, but I seen his scheme. Take it easy, Silver. I was fighting that rope, old boy. Easy. Steady, Silver. Yeah, I seen your scheme, stranger, and looped that rope around the tree here. If that horse is pawing up, uh, pull that tree up, maybe he can get you out in there. Look, stranger, I, I hate to do it, but I can't let you take me back. I ain't the murderer they judge me. I won't go back and hang for what I didn't do. If you haven't done wrong, you'll not hang. You're charged with murder. I know I am. I went to talk with Abe Darwin. I didn't kill him. He was dead when I got there. He was? Yeah. And as for them other things, I didn't even know about them. The only other thing I'd done was to rob the banker and... Well, I, I'd done that because it seemed just. Then go back and let those things be proved. No, I don't. I'm running his affairs now, stranger. And maybe you're an outlaw your own self. Why? That mask. Hey, Sammy, your scheme... You're the one that's done all the crimes Dave's charged with. But you want Dave to hang for them so there won't be no more hunt for the real criminal. You ain't a lawman, are you? No. Of course you ain't. Then why are you so blamed anxious to get Dave? Because an innocent man is in jail charged with Dave's crimes. Yeah. Seems there's a lot of innocent men in trouble around here. Only because the real criminal hasn't been found. The red, eh? No, Dave Tuttle is the red. And I believe you, Dave, when you say you've done only one thing that was wrong. But the law won't believe me. Perhaps it will. Uh, look here, Buck. I'm going to help the man out of here. I can't let him die. No, no, you're not. I'm doing for him right now. Buck, I... Great gun. He just dawned on me. Never mind what just dawned on you. We'll finish this man, then take that mask off and see just what his face looks like. No. He's the one with the horse called Silver. The one I told you about. I savvy now. That engine that's in jail. His name is Tonto. Yes, and he's badly wounded. Dave, Tonto, you... No, you don't, Buck. I got you covered. You've been my friend, but I swear to heaven I'll shoot you... If you make a move to draw a gun on the Lone Ranger. Why, you double I mean it, Buck. After all I've done to help I you. I know, but just the same, we're getting that man out. Look here, mister. If I help you get out, will you give me an hour's start? 
Just one hour before you take up the trail again? I won't promise that, Dave. If it were simply to take you to Fargo for trial, I would. But that's not the case. Donald's wounded. The lawman will try and make him tell things that he doesn't know. The only way to help him is to take you back. And that's what I'm going to do unless you kill me. You hear that? He won't even give you an hour's start. Now put down your gun and I'll finish things up. But if I go back, I'll hang. When you're back, Dave, I'll be on your side. To try and prove you're not all the law claims you are. But I... You'll hang just the same, Dave. Don't you see it? Well, I... Jones will be on your side. You helped him. Baker Sims will spend his last time to hang you. Longworth will be on your side. He ain't a chance of getting free. And the Lone Ranger will be on my side. I'm going back. Over my dead body. You lower that gun to help the masked man and I'll drill you. I won't see you go back and hang. Don't lower your gun. I, I don't think he's got the nerve to drill me. Yes, he has. He's ready to shoot the kill. Keep him coming, Dave. But I can't help you unless I... Yes, lower that gun. There's a knife in the saddlebag. Cut the rope that holds my horse. Curse you. I'll make you sorry. One second. I'll do that. Can the horse pull you out? I'm sure of it. Here's a knife. Cut that rope. I'll get you if it takes until my dying day. There. The rope cut. Come on, Silver. Down. Down, boy. Let me get a grip on you. Can you make it? Yes. Now, help, Silver. Help, boy. There. Come on, boy. That's it. Now, I use my own gun. Put yours on the ground, Dave. And take Buck's gun and put it with yours. I'm obeying orders, mister. I'm your prisoner. You just wait. All I do to help you, and this is how you show your appreciation. Well, go on back. Go on back and hang. I'm going back, Buck. But I ain't figuring on hanging. The Lone Ranger is on my side. <laughs> The story of Dave Tuttle, known in Fargo as the Red, will reach a startling climax. Be sure and listen to the second part of his amazing adventure with the Lone Ranger in the next exciting chapter. Come on there, Silver Old Boy! We're riding for the Red! Stretch out! Hey, Silver! Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.